Welcome to DNA Birding Adventures. We're at Arapahoe Bend Natural Area and Rigdon Reservoir for this beautiful morning, April 30th. We like this area, it's right near the interstate, but there are 80 different species of birds that have been documented here. And today we saw 30 no life birds and we were looking for warblers. We did see a few, but Dave did spot a brown headed cowbird. So that added to his list adding to our yearly list at 207. <laughs> Arapaho Bend has four different parking lots. We always like to park at the Rigdon Reservoir because there's usually some rare birds to be spotted like the Baird Sandpiper last year. It wasn't here yet. This is the way to the parking lot to Rigdon Reservoir. We always like to hike all the way around the reservoir. Take our scope because it's hard to see a lot of the birds. It's such a big reservoir. That's where the historic Strauss cabin is located. It's one of the earliest log cabins in the area. It was actually restored and then it was burned down in 1999. So there's ruins still left. From there, you can head north right along the river and then south right along the river and make a few loops around the ponds. Okay, here we go. Heads over to the lake. Here's the parking lot. It's pretty full. Damn. We heard a lot of red-winged blackbirds in these cattails, and then we heard the Virginia rail, sure enough. It's an old homestead. There's a robin sitting on top of that chimney. You can hear the robin. There's two of them up there. I think they're nesting. It's pretty. I love the grass. Look at all the grass that's come up. There's the cash Pooter. And the interstate's right there. You can hear the traffic. But the birds don't seem to mind. Nice little trail along the river. It's not flowing very fast. A lot of robins and black capped chickies in this area. You can hear some Canada geese. get the Bullock's Orioles and the Orchard Orioles as well and they haven't come in yet but this is one of their nests from last year.
we're gonna there's a couple other lakes on this side and some wooded areas. Look at them without me. And on this side of the lake there's a whole bunch of ponds and a trail that goes through the forest over here. There's a blue jay over there. You can hear the blue jay. Spring is in the air and it's migration time. As soon as the buds start to blossom on these oak and sycamore trees. We're always looking for the warblers. We saw this yellow rump warbler and we've also seen a Wilson's warbler and a orange crowned warbler. It's teeming with birds. A huge flock of comorants just flew over us. house wren. Just a tip that helps bird watching, I always download the uh, Cornell Lab Merlin app and it gives you information on bird behavior. You can figure out what birds are by call, but you have to verify it by sight. And also you can take a picture of a bird and it will tell you what the most likely bird is. But this is kind of what it looks like while it's working. We also like to download the bird packs for different areas depending on where we're traveling, like Hawaii or Texas. It's really handy. We also like the GoBird app where you can find hotspots, rare birds, bird information, and you can also post birds that you see in different areas. They've been working so much on the uh, interstate, they replanted, it looks like maybe some willows or some kind of tree along the shore there. That's good.
Blue Jays. They've got a nest over there. I believe these are called cabbage white butterflies. They were everywhere. And today we finally saw a swallowtail. Heading back. There's the lake. It was so nice to take the Annie van out to our bird watching today. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy trails to you.